So, Melissa, what brings you by today? Well, I stopped by on the recommendation of Jenny Clark. My family and I are looking for some fresh, raw milk, and when we asked about who might have some to sell, they suggested that I pay you a visit. Jenny also implied that if I came early enough, I might catch you milking. We're just about to start. She won't mind one bit that you're here. Lucy will be back in pasture in just a minute. Your milk cow stays out all night on pasture? Yep. That's right. We're a grass-fed dairy, so our animals graze for their nutrition. It takes a lot of grass to feed those cows, so they have to be out on pasture all the time. This is great. Jenny told me we would like your farm. I've read a few articles about the benefits grass-fed milk? <laughs> this milk excellent. Well then, I don't have to tell you about forage diversity or pasture management, but let me tell you a little bit about our farm in general. We're a small family farmstead with six head of cattle, three of which we milk, and Hawthorne is the only one who's freshened this spring. We also raise two dozen layer hens and usually have four pigs in the spring. We, all do, we do all this without chemicals or drugs, and most people call that organic, but we're not certified, so we can't use the O word. <laughs> we have a large garden and raise a variety of crops. When there's extra, we sell that on our farm stand. That's the short version. So, how does that sound? You still keen to buy some milk from us? Oh, yes! This is wonderful! <laughs> Great! Well, while we're waiting for Lucy and Hawthorne, come on over here. We'll get you squared away as a new milk customer. Here's a farm brochure. That explains more about our farm and the procedures for being a milk customer. And now, I'll go over the state standards for the sale of raw milk. <laughs> These requirements are mandated to me to sell legally raw milk to my neighbor. <clears throat> First, we have, I have to offer you a tour of our farm and milking facility, which we're fulfilling right now. Here's our milk parlor, where we milk the cow. And here's our milk room, where we pour the milk into jars, cool it in a water bath, and put it in the fridge for you to get. Next, on this clipboard here, I have to have you fill out your contact information as a requirement for the state. <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot for a simple thing, really, but it's just better to follow the letter of the law. And there's more. <laughs> The state also requires me to show you this sign, which I find somewhat offensive, since it claims hazards for a product I take great pride in keeping healthy, wholesome, and safe for everyone. This sign also has to be on the jars, along with our farm's contact info, the date, and the type of milking animal. Again, that would be cow. <laughs> Just to sell a gallon of raw milk to a neighbor? That's right, but we're almost done. <laughs> yes, it is a bit of a burden, though. I mean, we've spent a lot of time and a fair bit of money complying with state law, and we only sell milk to a handful of neighbors. And this next regulation almost kept me from selling any milk to anyone, ever. I mean, it's not like I make my living from the farm revenue. We're such a small operation. Yet, the farm has to carry its financial weight somewhat. And getting three milk cows inspected and injected annually by the vet, well, that costs more than I make in one season of milk sales. But my wife reminded me that you can't get this quality raw milk many places, and we have friends and neighbors who rely on our milk. So every year, I bite the bullet and have the vet come. What is it the vet came for? Oh, sorry, I got off on my rant there a little bit. Every year we have to have the cows screened for tuberculosis and bursalosis, as well as vaccinated against rabies. And I have to show you this certificate verifying that fact. <laughs> and that's, that sums it up, I think. Oh, 
And if four days go by and you haven't picked up your milk, I can't sell you that milk. So then the milk only stays fresh for four days? No, no, not at all. Our milk stays sweet and fresh for about two weeks if you keep it in the fridge. Please, don't be confused by all those legal stuff and the, the warning sign. <clears throat> I wish I didn't have to share any of that with you, especially on your first visit to the farm. <laughs> Just wait till we're done milking Hawthorne this morning, and then you can taste for yourself the quality of our milk. She should be back any minute. Um, <laughs> wow! I, I'm still amazed at all the regulations our state makes you follow. Are all states like this? Well, it, it looks like from your pamphlet that you charge $10 a gallon for your milk. Yeah, that's right. I know it sounds steep, but it's hard to come up with a cost analysis for your farm products. And that's the going rate. So, we don't even factor in our time. We really do the best we can with it. Oh, of course. Seeing all the infrastructure you have set up to milk three cows, all the work you and your family do to get this raw milk for us, $10 per gallon seems very reasonable. Let's see, how much do I want? It's my kids who are the milk drinkers in the family, but my husband and I, we want the milk for the premium. You know, make that morning cup of coffee really special. I was thinking I would love to make some butter too, but I have no idea how much milk I would need for all that. I guess I'm thinking a half a pound of butter, maybe a pint of cream for the coffee, and a gallon of milk for the kids. What would that be like? Do you have that much to sell? Well, that all sounds good. Yeah. We'll have to figure out how much that is. The gallon of milk for the kids, well, that's easy. It's the cream and butter, which will take some calculating. I'm not quite sure how much that's going to be. Here she comes. Oh, here comes Hawthorne now. There, why don't you come over here? She's going to go right there. But she's gentle. She's gentle. Come on up, girl. Where's your fully 
not even to your neighbor. The current raw milk law imposes a long list of expensive and nonsensical rules and regulations for all farmers selling any quantity of milk, even farmers like mine, selling small amounts to neighbors like Mrs. Wallace. And it prohibits the sale of any processed dairy, even my delicious scrim skimmed cream. And don't even ask Farmer Brown about raw butter. It's completely forbidden under our law. However, there is a bill, H-426, being debated in this legislative session that addresses these issues and proposes many other improvements to the law. Call your representative. Ask them to support H-426. And learn more about it on Rural Vermont's efforts to improve the raw milk law and support this effort by getting involved and making a contribution tonight. It's all up to you, people. Us cows will keep ruminating on the simpler things in life. Mm.